Why, hello there. So today I want to tell you guys, this is very relatable, um, why you get stuck. So for example, okay, I was stuck for a really long time, like over a year, actually longer. Um, and so the reason why is because when we think that we need to figure something out, so let's say that something happens and um, it's not good and we don't like it and it has then led us to think, you know, I need to figure this out, I need to do something about it. We get stuck because we have, let's say, this much energy in a day, only this much, and our thoughts are our energy. So that is what we um, spend most of our energy on. Yes, physically we do things, um, but you will know that you could sit around and you could do nothing in a day, use none of your physical energy, but yet you're still tired because you're using your mental energy. So when something happens and you're stuck, it's because you're taking this container of energy that you have, and let's say that you're using this much of it to think about that thing. And so when you're using this much of your energy, you only have, you know, this little bit left over here. And so what you can use this little bit left for um, is, you know, physically uh, having your organs function properly. Um, you can use it to do whatever it is that you need to do to just get through a day. Um, but you don't have a lot of that extra energy to, st first of all, start something new, um, to, you know, use your creativity to really do much of anything other than the exact same thing that you did the day before, which is why you get stuck. So if that's you, it's been me. So I know what that's like, and it is very difficult. Um, because you feel like you need to do something. But let me tell you that just thinking about something is not doing anything other than compounding the problem. And I know that that's like, oh, okay, well then what do I do about it? So I'm gonna tell you. So um, first of all, you need to remove yourself from whatever's going on. So if you are having ruminating thoughts about something, um, you'll know this because let's say somebody's talking to you or something's going on and you're not listening to a word that they're saying because you are still thinking about that thing that you need to solve. Um, I notice this sometimes with clients and you know, I'll be talking to them and it's like, they're not paying attention to me. And I'm like, okay, I know what's going on here. So then if that happens, let's do a little thing here right now because this, this might be you, this might help. Um, but if that happens and I'm like, Hey, let's do a quick little test. And then immediately, you know, their attention will come back. So let's do a little test guys. So you're just going to look at your hands. This is not the thing. I'm going to tell you the other thing after this, but this might help. And if you do this and this is something that you need, you're going to be like, what? This is amazing. So you're just going to look at your hand and you're going to say out loud. You actually have to say it out loud. Look at that hand. So say it, look at that hand. You'll say that is a hand that is a hand. Okay, now that hand is mine. That's my hand. That hand belongs to me. That hand is mine. Okay, that's the end of that little exercise. So if that felt weird for you, um, that's fine. It felt really weird for me in the very first time that I um, happened to stumble upon this. It, this was not some like exercise to bring me back into my body, but that was the result of it. And I was like, Hey, this is the thing. People need to do this thing. So, um, anyways, if that was weird for you, if that felt like really weird, almost like maybe you got like a kind of shock feeling in your body when you did it, keep saying it until it doesn't feel like that anymore. You're just bringing yourself back home. Um, Okay, if it didn't feel weird, then you'll just think that that was completely pointless. Um, but anyways, so here's the thing that you can do. If you feel like you are stuck and because you're thinking about something, in, if you're still watching this video, then that's you. So anytime that that thing comes up in your head, first of all, you have to tell yourself why you're not going to do that anymore so that you actually have a reason to want to do this exercise. So, you know, if you recognize that it's, it's not helping you, it's actually hurting you, um, that you thinking about it hasn't solved your problem for how many months now, so it's not gonna solve it today or tomorrow by doing the same thing that you've been doing. It's not gonna help, it's not gonna work. Um, what you do next time that it pops into your head is you just imagine whatever that thing is and that you just put it in a box, you put it up on a shelf, 
and then you just stop looking at it and you think about something else. So you imagine actually putting it in a box, like in a container, putting it up on a shelf and be like, nah, I'm just not gonna look at that right now. And then go do something else. Because the, the way that you find the solution to that problem, to whatever it is that you're really stuck in, um, is by thinking about something else, is by doing something else, is by getting out of your house and going to go do something. And then the answer will just come to you. It will be when you're not thinking about it that all of a sudden you'll have this wave of like, oh, and it will come out of the blue when you have not been thinking about it. So trust me on that when it works. Now, here's another thing about this. So mental energy that we spend, that thoughts, the container that we have, what you think about you're creating. So, um, and we're also giving a lot of our mental energy away to people in particular and things that we just should stop doing that too. So if there is let's say a situation or a person or something that maybe pops up into your mind and you're like, I don't want to waste any of this energy here. I want to keep it all for myself because you know what you can do when you have all of that energy for yourself, literally anything. You have so much more energy, your creativity's back. You like are motivated. You get, you know, on track with doing what it is that you really want to be doing in this life. And you just get on track with your purpose and it's like totally amazing. So what you can do is if you recognize that, let's say that you're thinking about something, somebody, some situation um, that maybe has popped into your head from the past and you're like, what is going on? Why is that person still in my energy? Put them in a box. You can put them in a box too and just call all of that energy that you have in a day back to yourself so that you can use it for you. Um, it's just totally worth it and it's amazing and it will completely free you. It will free up that creativity um, that maybe you haven't had in a while. It will bring new things into your life. It will bring new people into your life. It will just make things so much better and you get what you focus on. You get what you focus on. So if there's things that are in this that you don't like, Let's stop focusing on it. It's not helping you. It's actually hurting you because it's taking away from the energy that you could have for yourself to do totally amazing things. So um, I don't even remember where we started with this video, but that's the message for today.